Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express, science lesson video, vertebrates. In this lesson, you will be able to define what are invertebrates, list the groups of invertebrates, state the characteristics of each vertebrate group. Can you feel? Now, reach your hand behind your back. Place your hand on the middle of your back and run your fingers down and up. What can you feel? The lumps you can feel going up the middle of your back a part of your backbone. The technical word for backbone is spine. The spine is a series of bones called vertebrae. The spine helps us stay upright and helps us twist and move. It also protects special things called nerves which carry messages to and from the brain. What is a vertebrate? Well, let's talk about it. A vertebrate is an animal that has a spine. As we have just felt our spine, that means humans are vertebrates. Animals that doesn't or do not have spines are called invertebrates. Can you think of some animals that may be invertebrates? I would like for you to think. Cats, lizards, fish, turtles, and birds are all vertebrates, which means they have spines. Can you see the animal spines? Let us talk about the reptiles. Reptiles are the crocodiles, the snakes, and the turtles, and there are others. To classify animals, we ask questions to help us to identify some of the features. And so we have turtle here, and so we're going to ask some questions about the turtle. First, we want to know, does the animal have feathers? No. Can the animal fly? No. Does the animal have fur? No. Does the animal have four legs? Does it? Yes. No. Yes. Is it cold blooded? Does it have live young? Yes. Is it slippery? No. Does it have scales? No. Mammals. Here are some of the mammals that is in our world. You notice that the bat is flying there. You notice that the whale is there along with the sea cow or the dolphin. These are all mammals. Again, let's look at classifying our animals. What are the, some of the questions we ask? Here are some questions. Does the animals have feathers? No, this animal doesn't have feathers. Can this animal fly? No. Does this animal have fur? Maybe. 
Does this animal have four legs? Yes, it does. What is it? Cold-blooded? No, it is warm-blooded. Does it have live young? Yes, it does. Slippery? No. So those are some of the ways we can classify our animals. Now, let's look at fish. Now, you notice that the stingray and the shark are included as fish. Yes, stingrays are fish. Now, let's look at the fish. How can we classify this fish? Let's ask some of the common questions. Does it have feathers? No, this. Fish don't have feathers. Can fish fly? Hmm, there are a few that may be able to fly a little distance. Does the animal have fur? No. Does the animal have four legs? No. Is it cold-blooded? Hmm. Does it have live young? Yes. Is it slippery? Sometimes the scales are slippery. Does it have scales? Of course it does. Next group of vertebrates will be the amphibians. So here we have the frogs and the salamanders. There are other amphibians out there. Now, let's classify the frog. Remember our questions. Okay, does it have feathers? No. What about it being able to fly? No. Does it have fur? No. Does the animals have four legs? Yes. Is it cold-blooded? Maybe. Does it have live young? Yes. Is it slippery? Yes. Does it have scales? No. So we know the questions that can identify each of our vertebrate group. Let's look at the birds. Birds is another group of vertebrates. Okay, let's classify the bird. Does it have feathers? Yes. Can it fly? Yes. Does it have fur? No. Does the animal have four legs? Mm, no. Is it cold-blooded? No. Does it have live young? Yes. Is it slippery? No. And does it have scales? No. There are lots of ways of classifying vertebrates. It helps us learn more about the animal. You classify by using something called a key. You ask questions about the animal and work your way down the key. Look at this way of classifying an animal. Does it have fur? We have yes, no. Does it have feathers? Does it, is it a wild animal? Hmm. So when we look at this animal, does it have feathers? We choose yes or no. Does it have fur? Yes or no. Is it a wild animal? Yes or no. And so when we come down, we will say it is a lion. It is a lion. Yes, it is a lion. Okay, what have we learned in this lesson? We learned that there are five major groups of vertebrates. Can you name them? All right, I'll wait for you. Great, yes, you are correct. 
Let's go and see those five groups. They are mammals, fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds. Excellent. Give yourself a clap. Very good. This has been our lesson on vertebrates.